Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making some quick and easy jammy oat bars. So let's get started. First off, set your oven to 350 so it's nice and hot. Grab an eight inch square baking dish, and we're gonna line this with parchment paper. You can add some baking spray in there if you'd like. There we go. Now in a large bowl, we're gonna get our dry ingredients together, starting off with two cups or 224 grams of oats. You could use rolled oats or quick oats. It's really up to you. I like the rolled oats because they have better texture for me. I also want one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. That's 210 grams. And I'm very excited to be sharing recipes from my new book, Preppy Kitchen Super Easy. We all love to have delicious food on the table, but it is not easy. We are so busy and like my kids are seven now. I am dragging by the end of the day, even me, to get dinner on the table. So this book is here to help. It has breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert recipes. All of them are really fast and I gave you I have every single time-saving hack I could think of, including using air fryers, instant pots, slow cookers, etc. You can grab your copy today. There's links in the description box below. For some delicious caramel sweetness, I want three quarters of a cup or 165 grams of firmly packed brown sugar. This recipe is in the dessert bar section, but I would almost say it could go in breakfast too. It's like that perfectly sweet, oatmeal with some jammy molten blueberry filling and a crumble topping. So good and it's a really easy grab and go snack. I also want half a teaspoon of cinnamon and to puff things up, half a teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda needs an acid to react to and brown sugar is a weakly acidic. For contrast, I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt. Very important to have some salt in your baked goods. Otherwise you don't taste them, it's just sweet. My scale is done, I'm gonna set that aside. It's time to give things a whisk, so grab a whisk and a copy of Preppy Kitchen Super Easy. There's links in the description box below. If you find any lumps of brown sugar, just break them up with your hand or your whisk. Honestly, it's easier with your hand when there's oats in there because you can just kind of scoop and move things around. Everything's all mixed up, so now it's time to add one cup of melted butter in, but if you want, you could use one cup of melted and browned butter I give instructions on how to make brown butter and talk all about it in the pantry section of the cookbook, but it just gives you a really lovely depth of flavor. And if you want, make big batches of brown butter, keep it in your fridge just like regular butter and use them for savory or sweet dishes. It always adds something extra. Today though, we're using regular butter and it'll be delicious. And now I'm gonna use my spatula and just stir this together until it's all nice and crumbly and wet. Crumbly, buttery, and delicious. We need to reserve one and a half cups of this right now for the topping, so grab a medium bowl. Okay, one and a half cups. Grab your prepared baking dish, and we're gonna press the remaining oat mixture into the bottom for a nice even layer. And notice everything mixed up in one bowl. It's so simple. Kind of get that into an even layer first. Now use a spatula or a measuring cup to press it down. This recipe is such a good sweet treat. Like you can just be hanging out, covered on the countertop. Everyone's gonna grab a piece and before you know it, they'll be gone. It's like a wonderful, like nicely sweet snack that's really substantial and filling and easy to make. Okay. By the way, if you like my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There's two new recipes every single week and always something delicious on the horizon. I use my clean hands to press it down because that's really the easiest way. Our base is ready to go into the oven for 10 minutes until it's nice and fragrant. In the meantime, we're gonna get that blueberry filling together. In you go. My base baked for 10 minutes and right out of the oven, we're gonna coat it with our blueberry mixture. Three quarters of a cup of blueberry jam. This will go right over the top. You wanna do this when it comes out of the oven so the warmth really heats up the jam and lets you spread it nicely. Okay, spread that to the edges so it's a nice even layer. That smells so nice already, just the warm blueberry jam alone. Ah. If you're not a fan of blueberries or you made this a ton of times and you wanna try something else, in the book, I give you some suggestions. You could have raspberry jam and chopped peaches, orange marmalade and diced figs, or guava preserves and chopped strawberries. That is gonna be delicious. I would make any one of these and have when I developed the recipe. Sprinkle your blueberries all over the top now. That was one cup of fresh blueberries, but if you wanted to, they could be frozen, not thawed. Just scoot them into a nice even layer. And now for the remaining crumble on top. I'm just gonna break this up in my hands and 
cover that completely. I wanna have some bigger chunks so it has that nice texture. This has some beautiful coverage and now we're ready to pop it into the oven for about 55 minutes. It'll be golden, gooey, bubbling and smell amazing. In you go. This baked up to golden bubbly perfection. I let it cool down to room temperature and I actually chilled it in the fridge for about an hour just so it would slice a bit easier. If you could smell this right now, you would go wild. It smells so good. I even like the blueberry stains on the parchment paper. All right, you can cut this into any size pieces you'd like. I think nine is appropriate for a generous portion. And just like that, they're ready to enjoy. You can store your bars in the fridge in an airtight container for up to a week or wrapped tightly in your freezer for up to a month. It shouldn't be that good. It's like, shouldn't be possible that something this easy was that delicious because chewy, crispy, crunchy, gooey, perfectly sweet, brown sugar, butter, oh my gosh. I hope you get a chance to make this delicious recipe from my book, Preppy Kitchen Super Easy. Grab a copy of the book for the recipe, and if you like, check out my book playlist.